Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about mnemonic diagram that is also known as thermodynamic square. I have shown here a diagram, all four canonical variables are represented by four corners of the square and all four properties, internal energy, Helmholtz free energy, Gibbs free energy and enthalpy are represented as a sides of this square. If I want to write four fundamental property relations using this diagram, then how, what is the rule? For any side, suppose let's start for the internal energy, du is a function of two variables. And before that, I should draw the arrow. du is a function of two differential variables, that is dv and the other variable is ds. dv is multiplied with the coefficient exactly opposite to that particular variable, that is p. And p as that is opposite a variable is t. So I, I, I have written, but what about the sign? If arrow is pointing away from the variable, then the sign will be positive. If arrow pointing towards the variable, then sign will be negative. This is the first equation. If I write the equation for the A, Helmholtz free energy, there are two differential variables. Those are dv and dt. And the coefficient for v, that is p. Coefficient for differential variable p, that is s. And both arrows are pointing towards the variable. Those are not pointing away from the variable. So both signs will be negative. If I write the equation for dz, there are two differential variables in in case of Gibbs free energy, that is temperature and pressure, dt and dp, and the coefficients are written, the coefficient for dp term, that is entropy, the coefficient for dp term, that is the v. In case of t, the arrow is pointing towards the variable, so that will be negative. Otherwise, in case of differential variable p, arrow is pointing away from P, so it will be positive. And the last is dh. There are two canonical variables, s and p. One is ds, other is dp. The coefficient for s, that is t. The coefficient for dp, that is v. In this case, both arrows are pointing away from the variables, so both sign will be positive. So these are the four fundam fundamental property relations for pure compound. If I want to remember those equations, I, I should remember this mnemonic diagram. Okay, I can also obtain Maxwell relations from the mnemonic diagram. So in case of Maxwell relations, there is no any property term. All four Maxwell relations are written in terms of the canonical variables. The first Maxwell relations, how I will write, I can consider these two. The first is del V by del S. And the suffix will be the exactly opposite to the first variable. So that is V and the exactly opposite is P. So a constant P that is equal to go to the other side. In similar way, I can write del t by del t at constant entropy. This is the first Maxwell relations. Let's think about the sign convention. In both cases, just we have to consider the first variable, temperature and here volume. If in both cases, in, in the case of both first variables, if the arrows are in the one side, then both signs will be the same. If arrow are in the opposite direction, suppose here in case of V as well as in case of T, arrow is pointing toward the, towards the variable. So there is no sign change. But if the arrows are in the opposite direction, then we have to take the different sign. This is the first one. Okay. If I want to write the second Maxwell relation, then I should rotate this diagram anti-clockwise. 
So anti-clockwise, when I will write in this way, I am not writing the terms of property now, only the S and D. So using this uh, pointing towards P and the other is pointing towards D. This arrows will be as it is. So just I have rotated this diagram in anti-clockwise direction just by 90 degree. Okay. Using this diagram, I can write the equation del T by del V. Del T by del V at constant S equal to del P by del S at constant V. Del P by del S at constant V. But here, the first variables are T and P. T and P. In case of P, arrow is pointing towards T. In case of P, arrow is pointing away from P. So, one sign will be negative. Okay. Third, for the third Maxwell relation, again, I can rotate this diagram one more time. That is P, T, V, S. And this will be towards T, towards V. Okay, now in this case, I, I can write del P by del T at constant V equal to on the other side del S by del V at constant T. Here also the first variables are P and S. In both cases, the, the direction of arrow is same, means the both arrows are pointing away from the first variable, so there is no sign change. Okay. And the last for the last Maxwell relation, again I have to rotate this diagram one more time, and that is P V S and T. Okay. Now the last Maxwell relation would be del S by del P, del S by del P at constant T. And on the other side, del V by del T at constant P. If you consider the sign for the both first variables, in case of S, it is pointing away. In case of V, it is pointing towards. So sign, the direction is opposite. So the sign will be opposite. These four are the Maxwell relations that can be obtained from mnemonic diagram and these four are fundamental property relations those can be remembered using mnemonic diagram thanks for watching this video